My name is Oksana Pasichnik. I am a computer science teacher. Speaking from Ukraine, being attacked in an unfair war, I'd like to share a couple of thoughts on the topic of disinformation in the context of war. I know that the whole topic of fake news has been in focus for quite some time. But till most recently, the scope of action for this was informational. I might even say virtual. But we now see very clearly that it's not limited to something intangible. The effects are real and directly life-threatening. This is why I feel we need to take it very seriously and make sure that we, and most importantly, the next generation, are equipped to distinguish quality information and make informed decisions on its basis. It's very difficult to critically assess information when you are getting a lot of it, and some of it produced with the aim of propaganda that happens at war. It is so easy to get lost and stop believing anything. But critical thinking is not about disbelief. It's not about giving up, saying, we are just ordinary people. We need to rely on politicians to make wise decisions. Only they know the full picture. Trust me, it doesn't work. Each and every of us is a responsible consumer of information. The moment we refuse to critically think might be the moment we give up some of the most fundamental rights. So critical thinking shouldn't be an extra option, but rather a part of everyday life. Every time you are getting some information, you need to ask yourself, who is saying this? What's the platform they are using? What is the timing? and the context. Is it possible to read this message in a different way with opposite meaning? Is any part of information missing? And why can this be? What are the intentions of these people? What they might be influenced with? It really helps to ask these questions in order to make your own judgments and sort some reliable sources from untrustworthy ones. Another really difficult aspect of dealing with information and disinformation in the war is emotions. It is almost impossible to unload emotions from messages, but we need to understand their power. Is there a strong emotion behind the message? Why would anyone want the reader to feel this emotion? What it might lead us to do in anger, fear, or triumph? Am I capable of thinking clearly? when I'm feeling this emotion. If you are in doubt, don't rush into action. Get your emotions sorted and then think again. And something equally important in the age of social media, when each of us doesn't just consume, but also produce and at least share some media content, it should be done also very critically and responsibly. Why would you share disturbing graphical information? Could you deliver the message without plunging your readers into shock? Would that shock be productive when trying to solve the problem? If not, why would you share it? Don't join the disinformation army, but rather find ways to communicate your point of view clearly and unambiguously. In our present reality, another question is vital. Can this information be used by the enemy to, to do even greater harm? Unfortunately, there had been such cases, so we really need to be very critical with sharing anything online. We all had to learn a lot during this couple of months of war, but I really want other people to learn from our experience and start treating information and media responsibly and sensibly. Thank you for your attention, and I hope peace and justice will come soon.